Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to keep you guys updated with things that I found going on in the world of Transformers. I'll also let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram which is toys underscore R Us. Once again this is going to be split into two parts. This is the first part. I've got 11 things to go through with you already. The second part will be released again in about 10-12 hours. And again, that will have anything additional to it that has happened over the night um, where I am, maybe later on in the day where you are. So we're going to start off with another leak. To be honest, these just keep appearing everywhere. So this is from Amazon France. And this is exciting, to be fair. And I think this will also um, allay a lot of people's fears about the core class ratchet. So what that is, that is a Studio Series Voyager class Ironhide, a Studio Series 86 toy line. That is a Voyager class Ironhide leak on Amazon France. Now, obviously we're getting core class Ratchet and I'm sure we're gonna get a core class Ironhide as well. But I know a lot of people were really unhappy about the fact that obviously it was core class. And you know, indeed you're probably right, Ratchet and Ironhide should be Voyager class figures because they are that bit bigger than the other bots. Um, and I think this is pretty much confirming it. But until we get anything from Hasbro or Takara, no other images, just the fact that it has gone up available to order. So that could be good news all round. Right, some of these things on here now we've seen before, some of these are better images, some of these, well, I'll just keep going through them. So this is Matrix Workshop. This is the upgrade kit for Wild Rider. Now we saw these actual, just the pieces, but not with the figures. So these are much better shots now. So there's the two large blasters. There they are combined together with the normal blasters on his roof. I think that looks fantastic. That's a huge, huge upgrade, as well as being a fantastic homage to G1. There you go. That's that's as good as a G1 um, on the top of the roof. Double blaster you're going to get. It's brilliant. Um, and there it is. So as I said, that's all it's going to be. Really, really, I think that's brilliant. Really pleased with that. I might have to get that myself, to be honest, but it, it's that good. It really does take me straight back to being a child. And there it is. And there are the pieces together. Obviously, you can split it up so we can have the two as little blasters as well. Right, moving on, we've got some images. These aren't the greatest, and especially not with the reflection, so I do apologise. This is this magazine that they have in Japan called Figure King, and it's something that I wish we'd get over here or even anywhere. It's great that we've got everything digital and we can see everything. But as I've said before on numerous occasions, I still love the fact of being able to pick something up, holding it in my hand and having a look at it. And that's what this is. It's a magazine in Japan. It's called Figure King. And again, some of the figures, in fact, all of the figures we've seen before, but it's just nice to see it in a magazine. So, of course, there is a Masterpiece Blackout. Oh, gone the wrong way. There is some more images, you know, all the different, as I say, ways you can display it with the blast effects, without the blast effects, the extra detail on it. There, of course, is the Black Leo Prime masterpiece figure. It's again, it's just a great magazine. It's something you can physically hold in your hand. And of course, with it being in Japan, you've got these Bishuju uh, statues as well, the Megatron and Optimus Prime there. And again, all the ways that you can display them. So if you want to see more images of that, it's called the Figure King magazine. There's images available on both T-Formers and TFW 2005. Right, now what I've got in, we're gonna read this here just to make sure I'm getting it all right. So I'm gonna show you a load of images. So this is SND, the makers of Optimus Prime upgrade kits, and they're back with their own full-size figure this time. It's an unofficial Primo Vitalis IDW Optimus Prime figure based on the kit. So it's their SND 08 IDW bar is reported to be 18 centimeters. So basically this is what it is. It's their take on Optimus Prime, but the IDW version. And we've got some images here and it doesn't look too bad. I think it looks okay. It's obviously got the, of course, uh, laser sword and the blaster fully posable by the looks of it. It is transformable as well. So it's not just a statue, fully posable figure, um, 30 points of articulation. It says on the um, spiel, I've just read about it. There he is again, full posing. There's the two laser swords, the gun, the multiple hands, which again, a lot of figures now you seem to be getting. There is the alternate mode. And yeah, there's the alternate mode again. So if you wanna see more images of this on the websites I've just mentioned, there's loads of them. There's a scale picture for you with of course, Kingdom Deluxe tracks. So he's looking like he's coming in about a Voyager scale size. And yeah, looking really good. Cause of course there's Einhard, which is a bit of a bigger figure, but he's still, um, yeah, head and shoulders above him, but looking great. Really liking the look of that. Right, moving on, we just had a quick glimpse of it. This is again, another Matrix Workshop upgrade kit. 
and this is for Elito One. So there's the gun and the blaster, that's it combined, because there's the two small ones, and there's all three of them together. So these are just, again, additional weapons, additional blasters that Matrix Workshop has made for your Elito One legacy figure. Right, now what we've got again is, I suppose, just a few more pictures, but again, these are different. These are better pictures because these are actually in hand pictures. So um, they're not through glass. So I know it's hypocritical with the, with the reflection and stuff here, but they're much better. And I've also got some news. The news for this, everybody wants to know, it is gonna be a Hasbro Pulse exclusive and it's gonna be coming out on the 1st of November, $66.99. I do not have a UK price yet or a, a Hasbro German Pulse uh, price yet. I will try and find them out as soon as I can. But the great news is we now have official confirmation, Hasbro Pulse exclusive, 1st of November release date, $66.99. So let's just have a quick whip through some of these pictures again. Beautiful, beautiful packaging, lovely artwork on both sides. And then let's go and see the figures. So there you go, you've got both modes on display. I think there's another toy fair going on somewhere around the world at the moment. So I'm probably gonna do a few more updates over the weekend as well. So there we can see up close the actual figure in hand, none of the digital rendered images, the actual figures. That is such a great, absolutely great. And I know a lot of people aren't particularly fond of, you know, redecos, retools all the time. But at the moment, I think with both of these figures, I think with the shattered glass lineup they've got, for me, they're just amazing. I can't, you know, they say sometimes a lick of paint doesn't change anything, but look at that, it really does. Different head, slightly different, you know, just changing things, it just makes this fantastic. And especially when you see this now, when you see this up close and in the alternate mode with the front bit folded down. Oh, we've just come back to Orion Pax quickly. Again, look at the colour scheme. It just it just works so well. There's this one I was on about. Fold down that flap at the front when we get the opposite side. And look at that. Brilliant. Loving it. So there you go. We now know when it's coming out. Here comes a bit of a dad joke. This is um, the HasLab More images. This is some in-hand images. Get it? There you go. In-hand. Not mine. Uh, but look at the packaging. Beautiful. So this is the other side of the box that we haven't seen too much of. So this is the Japanese base, I suppose homage to the Japanese boxes. There's Desiris' ship coming in the background. There is a brilliant, brilliant image. That's as good as cartoon accurate as you're gonna get. There's the C numbers. The C number 328 is the exact number they used in Japan. C stood for Cybertrons. 328 was the reference number for the twin pack for the gift set. If you've got any interest in the original Star Saber, Victory Saber, Victory Low, there's quite a few videos on this channel of it. Just type it into the search bar. You can see all the artwork on the boxes, every form of it combined, everything. I've done quite a few videos on this figure. I absolutely love this figure and this character. There's another in hand of the back of the box. And again, you can see we've got there. In fact, that's not showing all the modes. It's got the base mode there. It's got the two, it's got the Brain of Courage there. It's got Leo's both modes, Star Saber's both modes, the combined jet and the combined thing. There is actually a jet mode for Victory Leo as well. Um, there you go, more in-hand images of the actual figure. I just think it's great. So, so, so excited. Really pleased that I made the decision to back it. Um, and I know that lots of people are as well. There again is the poster. And again, there's Desiris' head above looking down. He's got to be coming soon. There's too many Easter eggs, too many reference points, too much information, I suppose, coming out, and he's there. Right, there, of course, is the side that we've all seen lots of, the foiled side, which, again, is still epic. Loving it. Um, and, again, the back of it. I love the fact you've got two different ways of displaying it, two different types of boxes. And just one more time, there it is. Nobody holding on to it. Um, both sides. Absolutely stunning. Can't wait for that. And, again, oh, funny enough, there's Holly and Fire the MicroMasters that are gonna be coming with it as well. Oh, I've got a couple more images, there you go. Actually, I've got a couple more images. Moving on to Shattered Glass Blaster. And again, I know it's just a use of the same um, mold, but redecoed, but I love the Shattered Glass series, so maybe that's probably why I like it so much. And again, excuse me, sorry, because my throat's really bad, the weather, the hay fever, etc. Um, but yeah, again, I've got the original figure of this. If you guys wanna see the original eHobby exclusives, of this particular figure, it's on this channel. Just type the name into the search bar, but look at some of these lovely images of this figure. Great color scheme, the translucent red in the chest plate really makes it look fantastic. There's the blaster attached to the back. 
there's eject with a lovely translucent red plastic and i'm not worried about that translucent plastic to be honest it's quite firm it's it's um it's nothing like the brittle old sort of stuff that we're used to uh great images of this lovely posability i love these ones where he's coming out transforming out of the chest um and as you can tell i am i'm just genuinely excited for this particular figure at the moment there's nothing that i'm oh no, there's nothing that I'm not really bothered about looking at. It's just there's so much going on. At the moment, I'm involved in so many chats, forums, etc., the Discord about everything that's going on. It's just great. It's a great time to be a Transformers fan. There is, I think, the last image before we've got something new. So this is Transart Beast Wars um, BWM08. This is their take, or going to be their take, third-party company, obviously, of Transmetal Black Widow Project. Allegedly, this is going to be 14.5 centimetres tall in robot mode. We have no other images at the moment, unfortunately, apart from this. We've got, as I say, the alternate mode and the robot mode, and I'm sure you'll agree, looking stunning. So 14.5 centimetres, just shy of six inches. So that's going to be at least just a bit bigger than deluxe size, isn't it? Right, last couple of things. This is, again, some images. I don't know how people get things so early. We only had, I think it confirmed or released, that we were going to be getting a new premium premium finish studio series um, Optimus Prime. And someone's got it. Someone's got it already. And this looks fantastic. Absolutely, again, lovely. Um, I think the Optimus Prime movie figure is great. It, sometimes it was just a little bit too difficult to transform at first. But there you go. You can see you've got much shinier. Uh, paint apps, a lot more detail on the silver. There's a side-by-side -side comparison with, I believe it was the original Studio Series 05. So here's the new one. Look at the sheen on the silver. Look at how the, pipe, the paint's got the shine apps rather than just the dull matte colors. Looking great. So this is, again, ready to be released, or we haven't even got a date, to be honest, uh, of when this is coming out. But this is images of the new Studio Series, premium finish, Optimus Prime. And again, you can see where they've gone, Real, all the detail, on the mechanical parts. Now, final thing, like we'd like with everything until it's completely confirmed or released, take this with a grain of salt. This guy, we've had images like this now. I was on holiday last year, about this time when we got some first sort of images of it. Allegedly, Hasbro, Takara, Masterpiece, Cliff Jumper. More images, and they've gone really quiet with it. I don't understand. The other third party companies are way ahead of them with it at the moment. So allegedly, this is going to be uh, Takara's Masterpiece Cliff Jumper. Now, what I've noticed slightly different with these images is that when they get to the alternate mode, you'll see in a second. See, they've got two. They've got the clear window with the driver, and then they've got the cartoon accurate colliding windows. Again, this is not confirmed by Takara. These are just some images that have surfaced on the internet. Uh, took these from TFW 2005, in honesty. Um, it's shown you the differences there between the shoulders, the joints, and I suppose just the fact that it's not an exact copy of the mold differences from behind and differences from the side and then once again just a picture of him by himself so that's part one my list's compiling already for part two in a few hours i've obviously just got a hauler up great figure great great figure fingers crossed for tonight i can get override done she's a brilliant figure as well fingers crossed i can get her done for tonight if not in backup i've got Core class um, hot rod, obviously. I will still get round to doing the broadside. I'm so sorry I'm behind on that. But I know for a fact already that Hasbro Pulse have released, or shipped, shall we say is the correct word, some of the wreckers. They've all come out early. Everything's coming early. Everything's coming out at the moment. It's crazy. So um, I'll do my best to keep on top of all the requests and all the new figures that are coming out. I won't go crazy putting up two, three videos a day of reviews. I uh, don't want to inundate you all with that much. I'll still keep doing the little things here and there, videos of adverts and whatever else, um, and little showcases. And I've got to be doing a full introduction of the channel membership scheme that's been up and running now for a week. Um, we've got a great competition lined up for that. I'll give you loads more information on that. Uh, basic tier, so first, as I say, level only works at about six to seven pence per day just to join the membership. As I say, with regards to the channel, nothing changes on the channel. The channel's the same. The membership is other perks like competitions um, and everything like that, which again, I will give you much more detailed information on this Saturday. So thank you to everybody for watching as always. Again, thank you to my channel members. And that's, I think, all I've got to say for part one. Take care, guys. See you in a few hours. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. 
and don't forget to subscribe.